it's all it's all tied together and keyed, so it's hard to make a mistake unless you're really trying. into the, the depth of the cut of the key is different. Yeah. So that looks a lot better. Right. And then... And then yeah, those that, that, drop in and again that's... Yeah, that's a lot better. And so, yeah, you can only put it together one way. Well... And it's, you've got to... It's only going to fit together one way. Oh, some of those are probably lower control arm mounts. Yeah, those are control arm brackets. And so this. So that is your main truss. Yeah, and then, so we haven't cut this off yet, but that's fine. Um, yeah, and the whole point, the whole point of this truss, um, is the lower control arm mounts and then these these keys right here for the uh, upper brackets for the upper control arm mounts right. and it's got a nice cutout here for the uh, um, vent hose that does make me think okay so we're putting in an ARB air locker and and this would apply to any selectable locker um, you're gonna have to find a location to route your uh, your locker control um, at some point. Yep. And this this whole kit, I mean, everything is keyed. So this is the uh, spring perch and, and shock um, rear shock bracket. This is keyed here and has a corresponding key in the truss itself. And, and of course it hits our... And of course it's going to interfere with my... That's part of the conversation here as well as this, this truss system. It's all, it's all tied together and keyed, so it's hard to make a mistake unless you're really trying. And so this one that is the, the corresponding for the other side is square. Okay? Because it's expected to land on top of the spring pad here and round where it's not. So this actually tells you exactly... Yeah, and and actually, oh yeah, okay. So, so this is why you have to cut back some here, and I still haven't read the instructions fully to to know exactly how far we're going to cut. But, but yeah, this is keyed to to just sit right in place, and then once this is cut out, this will match the tube. So this is a track bar bracket. And same idea, this is going to key into... I bet it's going to key like that. Exactly like that, yeah. Something like that. Although we're going to do something a little bit different with the uh, with the front track bar, so we may not end up using this. May, may, may choose not to use that bracket, yeah. So this is... So yeah, this... Oh, that key's into there. That key's okay. right in there. Okay. Yeah, and it looks like, according to the drawing, that this is supposed to end up right here where the bracket will interfere. So we got our, our little our engine stand bracket, but it's supposed to sit right up flush with that. And yeah, this guy goes in on the back side of the truss, which just leaves... Um, that goes right here. Oh. Because there's a, uh, uh, sway bar bracket. Sway bar, yeah. Bolts, that for, that for the welds sway to the front. bracket, yeah. And, again, we may not use that. And so we got some, uh, lower control arm mounts here. Um, I'm not sure which one's which, but they, this is probably this side because it angles in slightly. And it just welds to the tube. 
Yeah, that just comes onto the. Probably oh. over a little bit, but you know. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And, and then this. yeah, and then the one with a much tighter angle. Yeah, that's good in there. And again, this one's going to go in here, and you can kind of already see, again, the requirement for some of the casting to move out of the way to provide access for the bracket to the axle. See, the idea is that this has got to sit between the weld here, which may need a little bit of cleanup. Yeah. But, but yeah, and when we're dealing with these Dana 60s and this swap kit, these do end up a bit wider than they would have been right. because you've got a differential in the way. And yeah. that is probably... That is 17, which sits... It doesn't make any sense. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Well, okay, well. Oh, 19 and 18. That... Okay, so that makes more sense. There we go. So that sits like that. Was that for the sway bar connects? Yeah, this is for the sway bar. In which case, then, yeah, this is the one corresponding on the other side. Yeah. Which... Oh, wait, no. I, I, this... That probably is over there. This one goes over here. This one. Oh, yeah, because here's the slot for it right here. And then these two... Probably. And the... Uh, yeah, so that's where that goes. Yeah, that makes sense. And then this one, I bet. Yeah, this, if you look at the picture, it's a nice picture and they got numbers. Um, yeah, 17, and it looks like it welds, yeah, kind of right there. And that arc at the bottom is probably just decorative. Yeah. It was on Penny. Remember, we've, we've cut that piece off on Penny because yeah. it's not usable. And, yeah, there is a there is a tab here. And then the same idea, we find the spot. That, that has to come over into, into the bracket. Yeah, the bracket's in the way for the axle stand. Yeah, come down, come down. There we you go. you got to be on the tube. But, yeah. 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 And, and it is. It's just a jigsaw puzzle. And the thing is, I may end up using that for my steering rim if, if plans work out. Yeah. So we're, we're considering moving the axle substantially forward and doing weird things with the track bar. and We're, we're, we're discussing it and planning it. So now that we've unpacked the instructions and I've read them again, very clearly, they say two inches, and it's two inches for a 2005 plus, but two inches for me. And so that means I'm going to cut this off right here, right before the, right by the pin. So this much will go away. And so what we'll do is we'll just we'll make cuts along here. We'll probably section it out and just take it out in chunks as best we can.